All right, Brush Monkeys, welcome back. Uh, this week we are starting in, we're continuing, excuse me, the uh, build of the Tombstone characters out of the Great Escape Games Plastic Cowboys box set. And this week we're doing Morgan Earp, who's Wyatt Earp's younger brother. And um, the sprue here comes with two sets of these kneeling legs, which is perfect for this because um, for those of you that are fans of the Old West, know or those of you who watch Tombstone know Morgan Earp was injured uh, was shot in the leg during the shootout at the OK Corral so we're gonna use these kneeling legs to build him so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put up the pictures of the sprue here All right, and then we're going to get started. Um, so I've cut the kneeling legs off the sprue there. I'm also going to use uh, this waistcoat in here because he's a pretty dapper little gentleman. And then I had, let's see where the waistcoat is in relation to where I need. Okay. Um, No, I did kind of, didn't I? Cut off the wrong waistcoat. Okay. Sorry, there are two waistcoats on the spur, and I cut the wrong one off. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. There's the there's the correct waistcoat. Put that one over there. Um. Healing legs, da da da, waistcoat. This gun arm. I also have this hand highlighted on there. Um, unfortunately, that hand, never mind, looking at the wrong side of the sprue. Turn it around and pay attention to the right side of the sprue. Does help if you look at, <laughs> pay the book attention. All right, so there's that, and then I'm also going to go with a different head because the head I've got selected for him has a bandana over it and I don't want him looking like a bandito. So, that kind of thing happens. But there we go. We got all the pieces cut out. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and clean those up and then we'll put them together. All right. See you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. It's all built and ready for paint. There is our Morgan Earp. Kneeling down as if he's just been shot, but ready to return fire to the to the Red Sash gang. I'll probably uh, when I go to paint him, I'll probably put a little blood on his leg here. Just uh, a little blood on his leg and his hand. But yeah, he's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause here and go prime them, and then we'll get to paint them. See you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, we're back, and we've got Morgan Earp all uh, Zenith all primed and ready for paint. And uh, He's looking pretty good so far. 
like I turned out. Um, I think he's going to look pretty good when he's done. Um, I was looking over the pictures from Tombstone on Pinterest and uh, find out a lot of the stuff he's wearing is black. So I've got uh, Vallejo Game Color black. I've got black Templar for his boots and uh, his gun belt there. Um, his vest is going to be uh, Corvus black. His coat is going to be the P3 Thanos black. His hat is gray in this scene so his hat's going to be Mechanica standard gray and I'm probably going to do a Corvus black uh, hat band on him and then of course I got the usual um, silver for his gun I've got ivory for his gun handle I don't know that you can see his handle very well on there but um, if I can see it I'll paint it and uh, yeah um, his shirt will be ivory because you can actually see his shirt on this one, he's not wearing a neckerchief. He's got, uh, you can kind of see his pocket, like a pocket watch chain on that vest, so I may go ahead and paint that gold too. And his belt is going to be snakeskin leather. You can't see his uh, gun holster, but that would have been snakeskin. But this is the scene uh, in the OK Corral where he got injured. So I'm also going to put some... Um, blood on his hand and on his leg here and maybe a little he takes a little shot across his arm but it's not too bad but uh, I may go ahead and model that on there too I've got the blood so why not um, so yeah that's how that's why I've got planned for him so let's go ahead and uh, pause here and get started on all that all right see you soon bye all right brush monkeys we made a little progress on uh, Morgan here We've got his skin done, I got his hair and mustache done, I've got his shirt painted, and the grip of his pistol painted, They're both ivory. I uh, went ahead and did his boots in Black Templar, and then uh, painted his hat in uh, Mechanica Standard Gray. He's going to have a Corvus Black uh, hat band, and his vest will be Corvus Black as well, so that's probably going to be the next thing I paint. Um, also, probably, probably do his, his base here too. I did his hair and mustache in basic dirt, and that's the same color I'm going to use for the base. So I'm probably going to go ahead and at least put down that first layer on the base. Um, but uh, yeah, Corvus Black will probably be the next thing I do. So making progress. We'll just keep on keeping on. See you in a little bit. All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back and uh, made a little more progress on our guy. I've got his vest painted, I got his hat band painted, I got the ground that he was standing on painted. Um, he's going to be based like the others with the Agrel on Earth and what have you, but um, it helps to have that that brown uh, base coat down first. And I'll eventually paint some white glue on that so I get nice deep cracks and everything, and it'll look really good. Uh, but for right now, I've got uh, basically his gun, his gun belt, his coat and pants to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do his pants in uh, Vallejo Game Color Black and his coat in uh, Thanos Black. And his belt is going to be uh, snakebite leather. So I'm going to go ahead and do his pants and his belt. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and bang those out probably his gun too. So, see you soon. Bye. Alright, brush monkeys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've done his coat and pants and his belt. Um, the coat and pants still look like they're wet, but that's because both the Vallejo Game Color black and the uh, P3 Thanos black dry, kind of glossy. Um, hopefully the, the uh, matte seal will knock that back a little bit. It's not a huge deal. Um, I also did a very, very, it's hard to tell on the camera here, but she did a very, very thin wash of uh, Nuln Oil on his shirt just to bring out the details, the button and the collar and that kind of thing. So uh, all I got left is the uh, bullets on his belt and his belt buckle, his little uh, pocket watch chain there, and his gun. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes for the um, snake bite leather to dry, and then I'll start painting the metallics. And then we're pretty close to being done with our guy here. He's looking pretty good. 
Uh, still have the blood effects to do too, so I'm going to go ahead and do those while I'm waiting on everything else to dry. See you in a bit. Alright, brush monkeys, we got his pistol done, and we got his little gold watch chain done. He's looking pretty spiff. So I'm going to go ahead and do his base, and I think the next time you see this guy, he's going to be completely done. So, uh, like I said, the uh, coat and pants still look kind of shiny. The matte seal will tone that down a little bit. Um, so, yeah. He's looking pretty good. We'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, uh, the blood stains. Um, you can see, it's hard to see the red against the black because it's not terribly thick, but you can see a little bit of red right there on his leg and a little bit on his arm there. I may have to touch those up a little bit once I put the matte seal on just so the blood is glossy. Um, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, there's our finished Morgan Earp. And you can kind of see the uh, blood effects on his arm and leg and a little bit on his hand there. Um, the red doesn't show up terribly well against the black, but I gloss coated it so it looked wet. So you can kind of see where it's wet. And that'll work. So I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and call this bad boy done and move on to uh, the next figure, his brother Virgil. It'll be next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Fly Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and click subscribe. It's like over here somewhere, right there. Um, that'll those will both help with my YouTube numbers and uh, bring me that much closer to monetizing this channel and being able to do what I love to do full time. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some of the miniatures I've painted here, visit our Instagram and Tumblr pages. I post pictures of both of those on a regular basis. I post videos on TikTok on a regular basis, um, mostly to direct traffic here to the YouTube channel, but you know, there's some other stuff there that's kind of cool. So go check that out. And if you want to show some love for your favorite uh, monkey-based miniature painter, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com slash flyingmonkeystudios to get our t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, can cozies, aprons, face masks. We've got all kinds of stuff there in a bunch of different colors, uh, including tie-dye. We've got some tie-dye shirts on there uh, if you want to check that out. So go check that out. Go check us out on our other social medias and follow us on Twitter for updates on the channel as well. And uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.